Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm gonna show how to run Android apps on Windows 11 natively. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So, let's begin. Yesterday Microsoft announced that the first preview of Android apps on Windows 11 is now available for Windows Insiders in the beta channel in the US. But the requirements from Microsoft for this feature is quite limited for users, as you should be in the United States, should have US-based Amazon App Store account, and your PC should have Windows 11 latest beta build. But, the method I'm going to show you will not have such limitations. You can do so with dev build, as well as a beta build. You don't need any Amazon App Store account, or to be in the US. Currently, I'm on Windows 11 latest dev build. As you can see the build number is 22483. My PC is fully compatible with Windows 11, and you can see my device specification, and Windows specification as well. Now if you try to use the feature, without meeting requirements, you'll end up with the same, you won't install the Amazon App Store, and get button may be grayed out, or may be absent, on top of Windows App Store. You'll also see an error says, this app will not run on your device. Now for achieving the result, follow the guide step by step, close all and then search for, turn Windows feature on or off, open it, then look for virtual machine platform, and Windows hypervisor platform, check both and click on OK, wait till the process completes. Click on restart to finish the process. After the restart, open your browser, and now you'll need to download the required files. Open the link from the video description, for your ease, it's in order. Open the first link, and then copy the site address to Lenar. After copying the address, open second site from the link, and paste the copied link address. Select slow from the drop-down list, and then click on tick button. If you get an error, again click on tick button. And now scroll down, and look for the same file. Click on the name to download the file. If it doesn't get downloaded, just drag the link to another window, and it will start downloading. After the download is completed, open the third link, and here, click on Download SDK Platform Tool for Windows, and accept the terms and conditions, and click on Android SDK Platform Tool for Windows. And now for testing, you'll need to have an APK file, I'll be downloading Among Us, and some other games. After downloading, open Windows Terminal as admin. Open your download folder. Now in the terminal, type the following command, and copy the path of Windows subsystem. Right click on the terminal to paste the address. Make sure to do it correctly. After pasting the path, press enter key, and here, if you got any error, look for the reason. In my case, Microsoft UI XML 2.6 is missing. To fix this open your browser again. Open the first link from the video description. Copy the address to Lenar. Then open the second link address, paste the link, then select slow from the drop-down list, and click on tick. Now, look for the file you need, download the file with AppX extension. If clicking on the file, doesn't download, drag it to the new window, and it will start downloading. Close your browser after downloading the file. Now type the command again, and copy the path of the downloaded file paste it in the terminal, and then press enter key after its deployment. Again type the command, and copy Windows subsystem path, paste it to the terminal, and then press enter key, and your deployment should be done. After its deployment close all applications, and now, if Windows subsystem appears on the start menu, or you find it in all apps category, then open it, but if not, wait for some time, but if still, it doesn't appear, open the first link from the description, and then click on get, and it will take you to Microsoft store. Click on open to open the app. And now, as you can see the IP is unavailable, but for achieving the result, IP is required. Click on refresh, if it doesn't load, click on the file link, then click on continue, and wait for some time.
After the new window opens, close it, and again click on refresh, and this time you'll get the IP. Now opt for continuous option, instead of as needed, in subsystem resources option. After that open the download folder again, and extract platform tools. For ease I'm extracting it on my desktop, wait till it gets extracted. And now right click on the platform tool folder, and click on open in the windows terminal. Type the following command, and with one space then type your IP, make sure to enter your correct IP, press enter key after it's done. If you receive an error saying cannot connect to the following IP, repeat the process again, and you'll get it done. And now, it's time to install the apps, type the following command, and then copy the path of your app, paste it to the terminal window, and then press enter key, repeat the process to install apps. And now, it's time to try out the apps, close all, and then click on the start button. If you find the apps here, open it, if not look for the installed apps in all apps, and you'll find the apps there. I'll be quitting this game, as I don't know how to play it, I'll try another game. Divine Sugar Crush Divine Sweet And as you can see, the game is running well, Amazon App Store isn't signed in, and the build is a developer build. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.